Kento! Oh my day! Oh no, Kento. Ah, oh, Kento. I respect it. I don't know what you're going for, but I respect it. Kento, I don't know what the hell that, that dive kick was, but I'll take it. Kento, no! Kento! Kento! You had it, Kento. What could Kento do after that loss? I'm glad you asked. One would be, you need to identify what you weren't doing. You gotta try stuff out. Like if you know medium kick toss, you can go through fireballs. The main one that you could hit is definitely light fireball. There's more recovery. I think there's a bit more startup. Light fireball. And we are blocking, making sure. All right, let's see. So that one, yes, I was definitely blocking. Let's see Kento, if we can do do it through medium fireball. I'm pretty sure you can do it through all of them, except maybe heavy fireball. But then again, I haven't even tested this myself. Like I don't even know. Oh, even medium fireball, huh? It's pretty good. And you know what's interesting about the medium one? Is it looks a lot like light fireball. I can tell you a few things, Kento, that you could work on too, though. Basically, when you lose, you should try and identify where your character is strong. That, 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 that determines a matchup, right? Let's say, let's cut all these squares off into pieces, right? So, the way I used to look at the game, and the way I still kind of try and look at the game is like, I try and determine my strengths based on the the squares, right? So I'll, I'll give each square a range in mind. So say there's one square, the, this say the red bar to Akuma's foot, that's range one. And then it, halfway through the second one, that's range one and a half, and this is range two. So from your foot to my foot, that is range two. If you're around range two, understand that if I medium fireball, I can pretty much dash in you and hit crouch medium kick. Because you see how the fireball is lingering? When the fireball is lingering, I have I have time. I just have time. I've I have recovered. But if I walk and block a little bit, you could probably even do a, a crazy trade combo right there. If you can't deal with the the that the zoning at certain ranges, try and walk up a little bit and mess with them. So approach around that range, they feel like they have to do heavy punch and stuff, right? So if they're just if they're trying to like kind of flow chart their heavy, you can do stuff like this. So the thing about Chun's Fierce is even though it's really good, there's a time where like if you if you block and press a button at the timing where you block, it's basically an option select. Option selects mean you have like two different options. So imagine like I'm around the range to block it, but if I just block it and it or if I try and block and it whiffs, then I miss my whiff punish. But if I press my button around where I assume I will block the fierce. Then I can just buffer. See how I'm just hitting medium? I'm hitting medium kick. I'm hitting medium kick a little a little late. It's like around the time I feel like they're gonna press the button. Imagine like you're playing a Chun Li and you understand, oh this is the timing they like to throw fierce. It's a little hard but like it's easier once you get used to it. But overall, those are just Chun specific things, but you need to look at where Akuma is strong. And where Akuma is strong is he has very good fireball and it's hard for Chun to deal with the fireballs because she gets knocked down. So say I'm just walking back and forth, or say I'm just trying to be aggressive with my fierce. You can meet her halfway and knock her down with the fireball. Fireballs are pretty annoying for Chun-Li. Yeah, see I got the knockdown. And now they're ha they have to deal with uh, my Akuma nonsense, right? And then you can also mix up your fireball. Like if, you if you're not comfortable, if you're not comfortable with the fireball timing. You can walk away and do that little meeting pick stuff we talked about. And see, even if I'm late, I'm safe. So those are a few things you can deal uh, do to deal better with Chun. Another thing you can do is mix up your jumps. Because like we said earlier, remember how we showed the jump in. And if you're not doing high damaging anti so it's going to be really hard. The thing about Akuma is he has a really good, he has really good options with, uh, with his jumps. And to show you that, I need to go back. But basically what I'm trying to get at is with Akuma, your strengths are your fireball. You don't have as long of normals as Chun-Li, but you have a fireball. And the fireball is very annoying for Chun-Li. So Chun-Li eventually will have to try and slide under it or something or, or roundhouse to meet you halfway. And let me just tell you why they would do the roundhouse. The roundhouse is so rewarding, but because it has so much recovery and it has a lot of startup, there's a lot of hang time. Pressing heavy kick is basically like throwing a fireball. It has the same risk. Let's say uh, Chun Li's pressing a lot of heavy kick, right? I'm trying to throw my fireball. See, I'm trying to throw my fireball. What can Chun Li do? She can slide, but slide's a little risky. So let's go for like the 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 bigger damaging options, right? Heavy kick's really good. Or say they want to roundhouse my fireball, then the jump becomes an option. Yeah. Boom, and I'm gonna eat that most of the time. There's a certain range where like you just clear the the roundhouse. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. like that. And even if I'm not uh, hitting you with roundhouse, you're I can't anterior you. I'm stuck. The roundhouse has a chance of hitting you out the air, but a lot of the time I'm just gonna whiff or I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna whiff, I'm gonna get hit, or you're gonna make me block your jump. You wanna play on your strengths. You see, when you play on your strengths, I get more tilted. I'm trying to deal with your fireball, and then all of a sudden you jump at me, right? And then as the Chun Li, I have to present a high damaging anti air to make you stop. But the thing about Akuma is you can be really annoying. You can be really annoying with your zoning. You can be really annoying so much so that they, they're really focused on getting through your zoning. And then they kind of forget the anti -air. I would say make sure you're presenting the fireball quite often and make them have to do options that are pretty risky to deal with it. Roundhouse, slide. Slide's pretty good, but it's also really bad because if I slide, there's a lot of times where if I just slide, I can punish you really hard. So I'll say, let's set up this guard recovery for stand medium kick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Akuma do stand medium kick and I'm gonna do slide. So let's say you condition me to, to read your fireball because slide's pretty slow. Slide, it doesn't really, it doesn't really allow you to react to the fireball. It's really, really hard. So basically when you're using slide, you're trying to space it in a way that you're sliding towards the tip of the slide but you're also reading where the fireball is. The thing is the Akuma, what you could do Kento, is if, if you just walk and block at certain ranges, you can really blow me up for doing that. Notice how it's minus seven. And even at like further ranges where it looks safe, I'm still minus five. So most of the time your five frame medium kicks in a punch. Me. I have to get it like perfect, dude. There, there's a very, even though that looked perfect, I was still, uh, getting hit so notice like if i'm sliding at the tip that's like really the only range where i'm safe and then even if i'm sliding at the tip you can walk back and whip punish me so keep those things in mind kento i would say where what you should look at is look at where akuma's strong right fireball oh fireball is getting blown up by Staten heavy kick jump you have to make them scared of those options and then they'll try and answer then you can kind of like walk forward you're kind of like disabling the Chun-Li by doing high uh, damaging options. Like say your jump, you make them focus on answering you, right? And then you can just kind of walk them down because they're not going to want to throw out roundhouse. They're not going to want to throw out fierce if you're scaring them with a uh, fireball and jump mix up, right? I hope that helps you try and you can do this for other matchups. Like just try and figure out where your character's strong. A lot of it is just, you gotta be in training, but man, you gotta grind it out. You gotta figure out exactly where your character's strong and where my character is weak. My character's really strong on the ground, but your character's really strong with the fireballs and the jumps. So I think those are the best ways that you can, uh, can learn from your losses. Go into training mode, figure it out. And also definitely look at your replays. Like it, I know it's the hardest thing to do, but it's really important to look at your replays and see where you're getting hit. If you can at least identify where you're getting hit, you'll be more aware of what you should be doing the next time. And hey, maybe watch your, your favorite player that plays your character. Try and find them playing that matchup and, and just piece things together, man. Yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Like, I play Cami because I have to. Like, there's certain matchups that, like, I, I, just, I just need to counter. I can't even think right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. F oh, I should have had you. All right, he's going to take this. Oh, the throw range. The f throw range, dude. God damn it. Nope. Oh, should have done EX legs. Oh, let's go. This is my Garrett training right here. Damn it, Garrett, you let me down. That ball's still coming, huh? What a what a character. <laughs> oh no. Of course the bison player laughs at that, right? I confirmed twice with the f Holy f You ever just see that move and panic? That's exactly how I felt right now. 
got your meter, huh? That's all you buy some players want. We're using all our reads right now, brothers. Let's fucking go. Yeah, being a sore loser, not what you want to do. You could turn off a game, you could cry. You could do all these things. These are all valid, valid responses. Cry, tell yourself you suck. I'm going to be bronze forever. All this, this, that, and the third. But yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit a like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, let me know in the comments below what kind of video do you want to see next. See you next time.